assalamu alaikum oh, welcome to civil ideas so today we will discuss about the uh, uh, under reinforced section balance section and all reinforced uh, section nrcc structures nrcc structure design uh, the, this is the uh, uh, concrete uh, rcc elements uh, uh, this is the beam and uh, so what is the difference between uh, between them and now we'll discuss it in this short video so the detailed articles is available on my website you can check out the link in description and uh, can study from there so now first is uh, we'll discuss about the balance section so the balance section uh, it is uh, generally uh, we uh, define as the balance section is the uh, rcc section which is uh, uh, reinforced with such amount of steel that when extreme fiber of compression zone of concrete reaches to its maximum permissible uh, value of stress and strain so this is the stress and strain value for the, uh, the concrete and compression zone and this is the stress and strain value for the steel and tension zone when these both values reaches to its permissible value uh, simultaneously at the same time then this will be the uh, uh, balance section so uh, you can see here this is a picture so this is the balance uh, section just we have uh, done the uh, schematic drawing ram but the actual uh, picture is here so you can see from here this is the uh, balance section and this is the neutral axis so the neutral axis is uh, beyond uh, neutral axis uh, as lies in between the these two so in this type uh, of sections first uh, uh, these values of the stress and strain and, uh, and tension and also in the stress and strain and comp uh, compression of concrete both reach at same time this value and this value reaches at same time so that's why the structure may be failed in compression or in tension so this is the balance section uh, and the neutral axis and this type of section is called uh, uh, critical neutral axis and uh, denoted by nc you can check out all these parameters on my website what is ast fst and the stress and steel ultimate strain yield stress character stack strength all these parameters you can study it uh, from this website in detail and this is the so this type of uh, failure when the uh, the sections and uh, compression and intention reaches at same time these values reach the same time then that will be uh, fail maybe fail by brittle or ductile and the neutral axis uh, uh, is called nc or xu balance you can show here and the formula for the moment resistance is uh, compressive force comp compressive force multiply and the lever arm this is the lever arm and this is the uh, tensile force multiply lever arm then these both any formula can be used to find, determine the uh, moment resistance. Compressive force multiply lever arm or the tensile force multiply. This is the lever arm. I can show you in the picture. So this is the uh, lever arm. And this is the lever arm. It's the straight decimal lever arm. It is uh, normally D minus N by 3. So this is the uh, centroid of the steel and this is the centroid of the stress block and compression zone of concrete. So the uh, distance between these two is called the lever arm. The lever arm multiply the, uh, these forces uh, is called the moment resistance. So this is the balance section you can see here this is the balance section now we'll study about uh, this type of section uh, structure engineer doesn't entrust because it may fail in compression or in tension and the other type is the or reinforced sections or reinforced sections mean when the this is the general definition uh, when the reinforced with such amount of steel uh, when a uh, extreme con uh, concrete fiber in compression zone reaches to its permissible value strain and stress value this is the stress value of concrete uh, in compression zone and this is the stress and strain value and tension zone of the steel so when these uh, first the uh, 
concrete value reaches to its maximum value then the uh, this, this type of structure uh, is called uh, the or reinforced sections it means that the um, reinforcement is comparatively uh, have high then the I can show you in the picture so this is the or reinforced sections so in the first you can see here so first the compression zone is reaches to its maximum permissible uh, limit and uh, st the steel is not achieved yet at its maximum level so that's why uh, first the concrete will be failed and compression uh, so the, the steel cannot load uh, by uh, itself uh, so that's why the structure fell due to uh, uh, compression and brittle behavior so that's why this type of uh, section that doesn't uh, considered by the structural engineer and also it is costly due to the uh, or reinforcement you can see here in the schematic diagram uh, this is the or reinforcement and this is the balance section we provided five bars and this is number six number six bars and the upper two bars we provided just for the um, uh, uh, hanging bars to hold the stirrups this is just a schematic gram of single reinforcement beam uh, but it is be applicable this formula will be applicable to any type of beam singly or doubly reinforcement now now i will discuss in the next one and also uh, one thing here that the nc the nc is the critical uh, the neutral axis and nsd uh, actual neutral axis actual neutral axis mean that they are reinforcement the neutral axis and the or reinforcement section there and the critical neutral axis is the critical uh, uh, reinforcement and the critical neutral axis and the uh, balance section this is the critical neutral axis and the balance sections uh, when the both stresses reaches are simultaneously and this is the, uh, the neutral axis and the uh, or reinforcement section so these were both will be so this uh, type of the n will be more than nc you can understand this in another diagram you can see here this is the or reinforcement or reinforced structure so this is the nc and this is the n so the n is greater than nc from top so that's why um, this is the n and this is the NC. NC critical neutral axis and this is the actual neutral axis. The neutral axis go uh, below the uh, actual uh, actual uh, critical neutral axis. So this is the uh, basic difference between balance and uh, uh, the or reinforced section. Now we will discuss uh, about the third one, uh, which is the uh, uh, under reinforced sections. So first we will go to the definition. So the SSC sections which is reinforced with such amount of steel have an extreme fiber of concrete and compression zone doesn't reach to its permissible allowable strain and stress uh, 0.03. These are the stress value and uh, concrete and compression and this is the stress and strain value of tension and steel. So first and the steel will uh, reach to its uh, maximum permissible value. First and these, these stress and steel in this zone the stress, uh, the stresses will be uh, um, uh, reached to its permissible value then uh, the concrete value is not reached to its maximum value this is the concrete area and concrete has now sufficient margin to reach its value so that's why this type of structures is uh, most suitable and desirable uh, to achieve while designing a structure so that's why the first the steel will uh, be filled and then concrete and the steel is the ductile material and it's, it can take an enough load uh, uh, um, as compared to uh, concrete so that's why and the and in the case of uh, uh, under reinforced sections in the case of or reinforced sections so the stresses in concrete first reach to its maximum value that's why the structure will fail due to uh, uh, brittleness due to brittle behavior and now 
and the uh, uh, under the fourth section the structure will fail and the ductile behavior so that's why uh, this is the basic difference and the structural engineer want to uh, achieve this type of design and it is also most economical uh, because it needs uh, less amount of reinforcement you can see here the some example this is the reinforcement just three bars and this is the number uh, five bars and this is the six bars so this is just a schematic drawing uh, diagram but uh, it shows the uh, clear uh, difference between all of these uh, so now you may have understand about all these so this is the you can see here in the picture this is the neutral axis and uh, the critical neutral axis and the balance sections and this is the, the actual neutral axis above the critical neutral axis you can see here in the under uh, reinforced sections and this is the over reinforced sections the actual neutral axis will go be, uh, below the uh, critical neutral axis so that's why uh, the or uh, under reinforced section is the most suitable uh, these are the some um, its basic points which you have to read this is the uh, advantages of the uh, the uh, under reinforced sections you can read this blog and the links are gone in description uh, if you have still any doubt uh, you can uh, comment in the comment section and uh, i will explain for you so thank you.